Good morning, Coyotes, and thanks for tuning in to this edition of Coyote Nation TV. I'm Sydney Gray. And I'm Avery Pryor. Our school is a leader in class, and Heritage is committed to serving others. Christian takes a look at the many service projects that our clubs and organizations have done this year. Thanks, guys. Each organization is encouraged to participate in a community service project such as Pink Out Pep Rally and Midnight Madness. This year, the boys' basketball team, uh, we, we decided to uh, help the American Heart Association, and so uh, we're doing a Midnight Madness, and basically what the kids do is they shoot 100 free throws, and they get uh, monetary pledges for each one of the free throws that they make. Then they collect that money, and then we give it to the American Heart Association. Well, we do quite a bit of stuff. Uh, one of the things we did last year was build a basketball goal for some uh, less than privileged kids. Uh, this year we did the pink out stuff. Uh, we try to get, get gifts together. Uh, we also have an FCA deal that uh, they, they, they're gathering a box for the underprivileged or less than fortunate and pe people like that. So, Well, I think for one reason it's important is it brings awareness for everybody that may not know uh, particularly what breast cancer is. So it gets, it gets an awareness out. Uh, it, it also gets, it gets the topic to be talked about. In order to fulfill the community service requirements placed by the HHS administration, these clubs and organizations have worked extremely hard to reach out to our community. If you have any questions on how you can help, log on to www.friscoisd.org forward slash schools forward slash heritage and click on the HHS clubs and organizations link to see a list of all the sponsors. For Coyote Nation TV, I'm Christian Vital. A major Olympic sport shines through a student here at Heritage. Rose takes us through the story of this talented figure skater. After winning the title of Senior Ladies Championship, freshman Zyra Costiniano makes it to the list of top 10 Asian American sports figures of 2010. Zyra began skating when she was five and has big goals for the future. My goal is to go to the 2014 Olympics in Sochi, Russia. It means accomplishing something that I've worked for for a really long time and I've put work and dedication into it, so it's a really big thing for me. Zyra will attend the 7th Asian Winter Games in Kazakhstan on January 30th through February 6th and will also attend the World Junior Figure Skating Championship in Korea on February 28th and March 6th. Um, Every country in the world who is qualified to compete there sends a certain amount of participants and we go through a um, elimination round and then to finals. Currently, Zyra is training for those upcoming competitions. Um, well, obviously I skate and then we do off-ice training, which is basically strength and conditioning. And then I have a private trainer who trains me on Mondays and Thursdays, and we spend an hour there. And then in the summer, we usually take dance classes to improve postures. I'm Rose Ellison for Kyo Nation TV. With transfer students coming in quickly, the school population has grown. Mercedes gives us a first-hand account of what it's like to be a transfer student at HHS. Recently, there's been a mysterious large amount of transfer students coming here to Heritage. Here's their story. I came here because my dad got a promotion and he works for Sky Chef, and his office is here. Because my dad thought we needed a new change and he bought a house over here. I moved here because things in Las Vegas where I moved before didn't work out and here is where all our family was. Have you joined any activities? I'm joining the Friends of Rachel program. So I play baseball and a lot of the kids are nice and I've met a lot of baseball kids. Heritage is completely different. Everyone here is really friendly and has a positive attitude. There it is. Whether it's professional reasons or family matters, one thing's for sure. They'll be a great addition to our school. I'm Mercedes Granger for Coyote Nation TV. Hey, did you ever look around and wonder how we are all connected? Probably not, right? Well, we are. Here's an example. Michaela takes out like McKenna, who takes Spanish like TJ, who does a sport like Kristen, who takes track like Michaela. Did you get that? Here it is again. Michaela takes out like McKenna, who takes Spanish like TJ, who does a sport like Kristen, who takes track like Michaela. If you didn't follow that, go look in the yearbook to find out all the school's connections. It takes one to know one. Coyote to coyote. That's all we have for today, coyotes. We thank you for watching. I'm Avery Pryor. And I'm Sydney Gray. This is Coyote Nation TV. Knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Why are you crying? I just got here. Why was six afraid of seven? Why? 
because seven, eight, nine. Okay, what did zero say to eight? What? Nice belt. <laughs> what did the ocean say to the penguin? What? Nothing, because it just waved. <laughs>